New vehicle inventories are up again to 1.95 million and a car market update. New car incentives have been steadily increasing too. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, a longtime car buyer's advocate known as the Homer Guy. I'm joined today by my co-host, the amazing Elizabeth. New vehicle inventories continued their slow, steady recovery last month and stand at more than 1.95 million vehicles. Even in the wake of very robust car sales, we're right there knocking on the door of that 2 million vehicle mark. That's right. The U.S. new vehicle inventory continued its steady climb last month as production recovers, according to data from Cox Automotive and the Automotive News Research and Data Center. In fact, the growing stockpile of unsold electric vehicles contributed to the overall rise. Supply was different in various regions, being lowest in Florida, while Denver, Detroit, and Seattle enjoyed some of the highest day supply in the country. So you know, friends, it does make a difference where you live. This is a heads up to our viewers to continue shopping outside of your area if you don't find the deal you're looking for closer to home. Totally. Cox estimated unsold inventory at 1,953,512 vehicles, or a 53-day supply, up 75% from the same point a year ago and up slightly from 1,928,619, where it was just a month earlier. There was a 103-day supply of EVs, making it the only segment other than ultra-luxury and high-end luxury to top the century mark, according to Cox, though full-size cars were close at 99 days. Stock levels of compact cars, mid-size cars, and crossovers still have the tightest inventory, yeah. so... For you highly fuel-conscious drivers out there, you're having most of the challenges. According to Cox, the lowest-priced vehicles had the lowest inventory, a natural supply and demand consequence we've spoken about many times on this show. Toyota and Honda vehicles represented 9 of the 10 nameplates with the smallest day supply. So if you're out looking at Toyotas and Hondas, don't be surprised if these are still hard to find and buy. We do have a number of good Toyota dealers identified in various areas now around the country, so don't feel stuck if you strike out close to home. For those of you watching the market and waiting for your chance to buy a new car, here are some of the specific manufacturers whose sales numbers are up. Remember, more inventory means better incentives and leverage for you, the car buyer. So in this report, Toyota and Honda had more sales, but they're also quickly running out of that inventory. Hyundai, Kia, Subaru, and Mazda sales numbers were up as well, but their inventory continues to be on the rebound. U.S. light vehicle sales were up 19% in July over a year ago. Toyota and Honda continue to rebound while U.S. sales rose for the 12th consecutive month in July at Hyundai and Kia, helped by rising inventories, higher retail and fleet business, and more generous discounts. Toyota's July sales rose 8% to 191000 with volume up 8.8% at Toyota and 3.3% at Lexus. While the automaker continues to be hampered by some of the industry's lowest supplies of new cars and light trucks, July marked Toyota Motors' fourth consecutive monthly advance. Weaker results for three of Toyota's biggest sellers, Camry down 9%, Highlander down 3%, and Tacoma down 16%, were offset by higher sales of the Corolla up 17%, Corolla Cross up 58%, Sienna up 57%, wow. and Forerunner up 46%. Toyota Motors said it had almost a 20-day supply of vehicles. This is not a lot of inventory by any means, that's for sure. Yeah. Honda's deliveries rose 57% for the second straight month, with the volume rising 53% at Honda and 99% at Acura. Honda's top sellers all posted major gains. Accord was up 145%. Civic up 86% and CRV up 52%. The automaker has told dealers some shipments have been stymied by a shortage of rail cars in Canada, as well as truck and driver shortages in the U.S. Subaru's U.S. deliveries have now rebounded 12 straight months, with July volume jumping 21%, led by sharply higher Forester and Outback sales that offset weaker cross-trek demand. Deliveries rose 9.7% last month at Hyundai, with retail volume edging up 2%. Sales of Hyundai's top seller, the Tucson crossover, rose 23%, setting a July record. Kia set a July sales record up 14%. The results were boosted by a 72% increase in the sales of electrified models and a 17% jump in deliveries of utility vehicles. Hyundai and Kia, like the rest of the industry, have hiked incentives in recent months as inventories rebound from historic lows that stem from the chronic parts shortages. In the second quarter, U.S. discounts and marketing promotions at Kia and Hyundai rose to over 1,000 per vehicle from a year earlier, and in July, Hyundai's incentives topped 2,000. 
At Genesis, July volume edged up 22%, a monthly U.S. record for them, on higher sales of three utility models, the GV60, GV70, and GV80. Sales also rose for the 10th straight month at Mazda, behind a 159% increase in car sales. The market, which rose 13% in the first half of the year, continues to be supported by healthy pent-up retail and fleet demand that is offsetting higher interest rates, tighter credit standards, and near-record vehicle prices. The first half of 2023 has proven once again that one shouldn't doubt the spending capacity of U.S. consumers, said Chris Hobson of S&P Global Mobility. Well, that's for sure. Yeah, that's some honesty there. Even more analysts citing a stronger job market that has lowered the risk of a U.S. recession in recent weeks have raised their outlook for U.S. sales in 2023 to more than 15 million. Deutsche Bank analysts said, in the months ahead, we still expect improving vehicle production to cause inventories to steadily grow, eventually pressuring down prices. The bank citing stronger than expected first half volume and sharp rebound in fleet business raised its U.S. sales forecast for the year from 16 million, up sharply from July's 2022 rate of 13 and a half million. Yeah, the average incentive per vehicle in July, according to J.D. Power, was around $1,888, up 107% from July last year, a clear indication of growing inventories. Motor Intelligence estimated the incentives and marketing promotions were actually averaging $2,155 per new car and light truck last month. So let's just say $2,000 is average and anything higher than that is a bonus. Comment below, please, friends, if you bought a new vehicle in the last month and you got more than $2,000 off of MSRP. Please also include your region to help others find those great deals too. Finally, it's important to note that new vehicle retail transaction prices in July averaged 45305 down $866 from July 2022, and more than $2,000 below the record 47362 set in December, J.D. Power and Global Data said. And that's our show for today. Also, a brief update on our hassle-free car buying process. We're now making faster progress identifying and recruiting good dealers to connect our viewers with, but please be patient. Good dealers are indeed hard to find, and it requires a sorting and vetting process. We'll have a lot more on that coming up soon. If you appreciated today's show and you're new here, don't forget to smack that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications of new shows. For those of you just entering the car market, you should be aware of all the free resources we have for you on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. You'll find a free car buyer's guide, free email templates to use with car dealers, there's also a list of common dealer fake fees. We just recently added the spreadsheet we did on total car dealer fees by state in the U.S. And there's a download for combating forced add-ons and deceptive pricing. It's all there for you on thehomeworkguy.com, free to download and use for your car shopping. We're also excited to say that we'll soon be launching an opportunity for memberships here on YouTube. This decision came after a recent consult with YouTube Insiders. The memberships will allow for much improved access to both me and Kevin, and we really do enjoy direct contact with our viewers. More on that coming this month. As Liz reminded you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. <laughs> Subscribing is free and painless to you, but it sure helps us out a lot. And give this video a like if you appreciate what we did for you here today. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guide team in our show, is where you'll always find the most dependable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. If you just recently joined up as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing out with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.